Hey folks, uh, <clears throat> this is my new listing at uh, 106 Chesterfield Street in Hyde Park. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath cape. It's listed at uh, $315,000. Chesterfield Street is a side street. Uh, it's on the corner of Chesterfield and Farron Street. Farron Street is a dead end street. Nice little street. I sold uh, property on Farron Street a few years back. Um, that house right there is Mayor Menino's house. So if you're looking for a famous neighbor and maybe somebody who can uh, have some political clout in the city that the, that's probably the person you want to live next to. So let's uh, let's go take a look inside and see what we have. Um, <clears throat> this is an immaculate cape. It's in really uh, really good condition. I will say that it you know it, it's it's something if you want something that's completely updated, this is not it. But if you want something that's in very good shape, then this is it. So this is the backyard here. They have a little deck and. Uh, you know, a little uh, level backyard. And then this is the uh, back of the house here. So let's head inside of the house and let's see what we uh, see what we have. So you come right into the uh, kitchen from the side door here. And I would say that the uh, kitchen is original from when the property was built. And the property was built in 1955. So, you know, it is an older kitchen, but uh, it's in good shape. The woman who owned this owned it for years and years and years. She kept uh, really good care of the house and kept a really good watchful eye on the neighborhood as well. It's a typical cape you'd see in Hyde Park. Half bath on the first floor. Um, and then we also have, a, you know, and a cape would have a, a bedroom on the first floor. A standard uh, traditional cape would have a bedroom on the first floor and they use this, so uh, they use, she used this as a little den or whatever, but it could be used as a bedroom. Uh, you have a double closet right there. So let's head over to uh, let's head, let's head over to the uh, dining room here. Some people have thought, or actually, uh, there's a I've I've seen this happen plenty of times in Hyde Park, where people take this wall down between the kitchen and the um, uh, dining room, and they just open it right up. But this uh, is not taken down. Uh, so. Uh, this is the dining room here, and uh, we'll get a better view of it, I guess, this way, okay? And now we are at the front door of the house, <clears throat> which separates the dining room from the living room. Um, so, again, if you're looking for completely updated, not going to happen here, but if you're looking for uh, a solid house then it definitely is a solid house. So this is the uh, bedroom that we just saw, <clears throat> excuse me, just saw a few, uh, few seconds ago. So let's head upstairs to the other two bedrooms and the full bath. Um, all right, if we're going to take a right here, we have probably what I would use as the master. Um, and... Um, windows and uh, really large closets actually in both of these masters can put a ton of stuff in here so just uh, she's got you know storage uh, shelves here and then we'll head over to the full bathroom and uh, you know again this was probably done in the 80s I would say last done in the 80s she was an older woman. She had a few of those things that you'd see in a bathroom. Those handrails. And then this is the um, a linen closet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's turn on a light here. And uh, it's really, really big. A ton of storage here as well. So, and then you get access to the attic as well in this storage closet. So, let's uh, get out of here. And let's go take a, take a look at the other bedroom on this level. They're almost, I would say, identical in size, the two bedrooms on the second level. <clears throat> and quite honestly, they have a very similar decoration as well. Um, this one also has that huge closet, just like the other bedroom there. Uh, plenty of storage space. And uh, more storage space over here. And then finally, let's head down to 
the basement. Let's go take a look at the systems. And we'll finish up. All right. So here's your electrical. Uh, it, I believe, is 60 amp service. I don't want to tell you that it's any more. Um, it could be 100 amp, but I want to tell you that it's 60 without knowing enough about it yet. I just listed this property a few days ago, so sometimes you got to get those specifics down. Here's your gas connection, okay, and your washer and dryer connections, and you get a little sink here. Um, <clears throat> heating system, I would say, is probably about 10 or 11 years old. It's in really good condition. And there's your own water tank as well. <clears throat> and back over here, which I did not open up, they do have a sump pump in the basement. Um, and that's your water meter as well over here. Um, so, oh, and the last thing here is the door to the uh, backyard. So this is my tour of 106 Chesterfield Street. In Hyde Park, it's listed for three hundred fifteen thousand dollars. Again, if you want to uh, buy a solid house, this is definitely uh, a house you should take a look at, and uh, I think you would enjoy living here. So, thank you for the time, and uh, have yourselves a good day. Take care. Bye bye.